G'day, Grand Nomad here. I've just received a couple of new toys. Uh, one of which is this Sieg SC, what do they call it? Sorry, SX 2.7 mil. Uh, I'm not going to do an unboxing. In fact, they've already unboxed it, but I think we're all a bit sick of unboxing videos now. So I just thought I'd give a quick first impression. There's a couple of things that are different to what I expected, but it's all, all good overall. First thing is this control panel. The photos that I saw in the ad and in fact that I've seen just about everywhere show a forward and reverse button. This doesn't have them. Now I don't think that really matters because you really never run these things in reverse unless you're tapping threads. And that button just there is for thread tapping and when you're in that mode the buttons on the end of each one of these arms reverse the direction of um, spindle for you so I don't think you need an extra two buttons up on here so that's fine um, the draw bar is accessible through there I'll just kind of you can see there's a hole there you don't have to lift that cap off it seems you can just poke your hex um, or your allen key down through there to take your drawbar out or to take your chucks and things out. The X travel on the bed, I measured at 503 millimeters. That's within spec, they say 500. However, the Y travel, they say 190. All I can get is 166, I think it is, 167. So that's a bit of a gotcha. Probably doesn't matter that much, but it's not quite to spec. I've already, having turned this handle about three times, already got sick of the spring. So I did a mod that I saw a um, fellow Australian guy, I can't remember who it was now. He pulled the spring out and put it in the, on the outside of that. So now the spring works to hold that, that in, not hold it out. They do that in case you automate the, the X travel one day and stops the handle spinning. And I might have to put it back in, but we'll see. Um, it came with this vise. It's not a very good vise, as you would probably expect. I wouldn't use it on a mill, I don't think. But it's better than I expected, to be fair. That'll go on my um, drill press or something like that. So it's still a useful piece of kit. That's about it, I think. Just first impressions. It's pretty heavy. 100 odd kilos. I suspect this... Um, head raising and lowering up here it's kind of a little bit hard to reach and when the head gets uh, when the head gets higher up it won't matter because that's stationary but when this is on a bench and whatever that might actually be a bit hard to reach it might um i might automate that or mechanize it or do something with it i don't know probably not overall it's pretty good i'm going to get i think a two axis dro for it you already have a dro here for the quill you certainly need X and Y axes, and I don't think you need one on the column. I think you'd be just be winding that up to within QE of what you want for a particular job. And then you use this DRO on the quill here, the spindle. Uh, and you need your X and Y, of course. So I don't think you need three, three axes. It's pretty quiet. We'll just turn him on. Gets it about... Looks like 13, 1400 revs. No load, of course, but it's pretty quiet. That's the brushes, high torque motor doing that, I think. And we'll just give you a quick demo of the threading. So we'll go into threading mode. Now, I don't, don't know if you can see that, but if I press one of the buttons on here, it stops and reverses. And then you can go back again. So you can wind your, your tap in and out quite easily. I think that'll be a good feature. So there you have it, the Sieg um, SX 2.7. It's about the right level for what I want to do, I think. The other toy I've got is this one here. That's the SC4. I'll have a bit of play with that and probably give you a quick overview on that one soon too. But for the moment, Grain I'm at out. Whoops, I forgot something. You see this T-track along the front of the table here? 
that goes all the way to each end and that's not how it's shown in the photographs it's shown um, stopping about an inch or two shy of each end I actually prefer what they've done here because I think I'm going to mount the DRO along there and I think it's nice to have that slot all the way so I guess what I'm saying is don't take what you see in the photos and the ads as gospel it might be different to what you uh, what you get might be different to what you see in the photos it may or may not matter but if any of those things do matter to you then you, you might want to um, you know give them a ring and verify it Green Armad out Don't dream.